Okay, welcome back to the video series for the 200 ton oceans sample exam from the National Maritime Center. In this video, we are going to solve uh, question number two. This will be a solution in two parts. The first video will show the um, solution through HO229, and the second video will show the plotting of this on a universal plotting sheet to determine the running fixed time. So the question reads, at 0745 on 15 July, our position is latitude and longitude. We're on a southeasterly course at a speed of 8 knots, and we observe three morning sun lines, and they're asking for the latitude and longitude of our running fix. The nice thing about the problem in this case is that the Coast Guard has provided a lot of good information. So typically when we're doing a site reduction for a sun line, we have to worry about declination and GHA and the geographic position of the body. But in this case, they've provided the fully solved GHA, the fully solved declination, and the observed altitude already corrected for index error, uh, refraction, um, all, all that kind of stuff. So we don't have to do it. We can just call this HO declination and GHA and move on from there. Looking quickly at the answers, we can see that the positions given are you know, fairly far apart, like four or five miles apart. So our level of accuracy needs to be pretty good, but um, it's not gonna be too hard to solve this problem, I don't think. So the first thing that I would do in this case is uh, recreate the information given to us in the problem. And so I've written down the date and the time, our position, our course and speed, and then I've started to create a table for our three site reductions that we need to do. The declination was given to us, and when we use HO229, we are going to be using whole values of declination, so that's already there. Uh, likewise, GHA was given to us, and from there, we need to get to our local hour angle, or LHA, in order to use HO229. And before we start solving the math, I'll say once again, this is not a video series for beginners. This is uh, for folks that are studying for their exam and uh, are looking for solutions to the problems. So with that, let's get started. Um, based on the given information, uh, the next step in order to get LHA and then to be able to use HO229 would be to assume a longitude so that when we can um, do the subtraction, we'll end up with a whole value of LHA. Now, unfortunately, this were morning sites, and so the first thing that I would do in this case is add 360 degrees to each of these GHAs because our longitude is to the west of them. And so if we add 360 degrees, um, you can just follow along as we get there, but it would be 381, um, 396, and 426 degrees. So we just added a circle in that case, um, the math will work out better for us that way. So the next step would be to assume a longitude. And um, in this case, our DR longitude was about 71 degrees west, so I'd like to stay somewhere around there. And when I do the subtraction, I would like uh, my LHA to come out to a whole value. And uh, again, we could solve this um, in a different way from HO229, but that's the way we're gonna go in this, uh, this problem here. So when I uh, choose a longitude, I'm going to say 71 degrees 01.8 for this one. And if I do that subtraction, I end up with an LHA of 310 degrees. Likewise, for the 930 site, I'm going to choose a longitude of 71 degrees 01.7. And I'll subtract GHA minus longitude to get an LHA of um, 325 degrees. And then finally for this one, GHA 426, I'll assume a longitude of 71.01.6, uh, do the subtraction GHA minus longitude, and I end up with an LHA of 355 degrees. So now I have LHA, I have declination, and I have uh, my latitude, whole values of it. Now notice there's a little hangers on in that case, and that'll need to be corrected later on, but I have what I need to kind of get into um, HO229. Okay, in HO229, again, the things that I need in order to use this are latitude, um, declination, and local hour angle. And so I've just kind of found all that stuff for these three. Uh, to clarify, I'll go ahead and circle that. I have a latitude of 29 degrees for each of the three sightings. I've got a declination of 21 degrees for each of the three sightings. And I have an LHA um, of these here. So once I open up the site reduction tables, HO229, 
Um, I'll go searching for this information. And so here's my first one. My LHA is 310. My uh, latitude is 29 and my declination is 21. So I'll pull that data out. And then I'll do the same thing for um, LHAs of 325. 29, 21, I'll pull that data out. And finally for the 355 LHA as well. 355, latitude 29, declination 21. I'll again, I'll pull that data out and I'll recreate that on my worksheet here. So my computed heights for each of these uh, as pulled directly from the book were 44 degrees, 18.9 minutes, uh, 57 degrees, 24.9 minutes and 80 degrees, 48.5 minutes. The next number that I pulled from the HO229 was the, uh, the D number, right? And that is a correction for this little declination hanger on there. And so for this one, it was a plus 10.0. Actually, it's not minutes, it's just uh, that. Um, a plus 21.1 and a plus 51.9. So in order to apply this declination increment to my height computed, um, the way that I'll do that is I'll do uh, D divided by the increment times 60. And so the other way you could do this would be in HO229 in the very front, you can use the interpolation tables uh, if you prefer to do it that way. But I like to um, just uh, do the math in this case here, the D number was actually plus 20.6. Once I do the increments for the declination uh, there, I do uh, the D number over the increment times 60. So 20.6 divided by, oops, 20.6 times 29.2 equals divided by 60 would be uh, 10.0 plus. Uh, this one likewise, would be um, 10.1 minutes. And this one, 51.9 times 28 is uh, plus 24.2. Cool, so then I just need to apply that to the uh, HC there. And so my new uh, HC is gonna be uh, as follows. Okay, so 44, 28.9, 57, 35.0, and then 81, 12.7. Uh, the other piece of information that I pulled out of here, uh, out of HO229, was um, the Z number. And so the Z, or the azimuth, was um, equal to 88.2 degrees for this one. It was 96.1 degrees for this one and 149.4 degrees for this one. And so just checking the uh, azimuth rules here, if my LHA in the northern latitudes is greater than 180, my final azimuth angle is equal to Z. So I don't need to make any corrections to that. Z equals Zn, and that portion is, uh, is done. So the very last step is to compare my computed height to my observed height. And in the problem, uh, the observed altitudes were given for each sighting, so I can just reproduce those here. Uh, the observed height was 44 degrees, 16.4. Uh, for this one, it was 57 degrees and 25.5 uh, minutes for the second one. And for the third one, it was 81 degrees, um, 30.2. So the last step in this process is compare the height observed to the height computed. So I'll just reproduce those here. I'm just bringing it on down from there. And I can uh, do my subtractions or uh, additions as necessary. So in this case, the computed height is greater. Computed height is greater, so it's 12.5 minutes away 
using the St. Hilaire method or the altitude intercept method. In this case, again, the computed height was greater than the observed height. So this one was 9.5 minutes away. And finally, this one looks like it is 17.5 uh, minutes towards because the um, observed altitude was greater in that case. So in uh, the next part of the video, we will plot all these on the universal plotting sheet and get our final solutions. Mm -hmm.